What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about our third Summer League game for the Chicago Bulls. And I guess the question that ultimately had that final answer at the end of the day, we wanted a response against the New York Knicks game and how bad Louis played. We move over to this Toronto Raptors team and this Toronto Raptors game. And ultimately, it was a very good start by the Toronto Raptors, but the Chicago Bulls kind of took the reins throughout the second, third, and almost the fourth quarter of this game as we walk away with a pretty convincing victory in my eyes and the message was delivered and the response was a good one and that's really all we wanted from the Chicago Bulls team as I said before the wins and the losses may not matter to many people but when you get blown out like that you want a response from these young players and that's what we got in all honesty before we get started though please like and subscribe to the Bulls show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls I guess before are you happy with the result are you happy with the response that we delivered on the court today your overall thoughts and opinions on some of the players that played well funnily enough it was a very much balanced game again i think you could do the night and day comparisons between the toronto raptors game and the new york knicks game i don't know what level the toronto raptors are truly on but ultimately we won the game 93 to 83 i think the score kind of flatters the toronto raptors in many ways considering we were up by close to 30 points if not 30 points for a lot of this game as well. You even had Arturis kind of service speak out and he was saying that it's much easier to discuss this team and discuss the, I guess, to go on commentary when you're up big and stuff like that. The pressure's kind of off you and stuff like that as well. So that was, um, again, that kind of shows how the game went. I'm sure uh, the Toronto Raptors fought all the way back in the fourth quarter. I think it was, you know, the bench unit versus the bench unit and the, the Toronto Raptors uh, fought well and, and they made this respectable score at the end of the day but we had the control in this game from the very beginning. The Toronto Raptors came out firing though and I, I felt like they couldn't miss a, a three-point shot. That's truly how it felt. The Bulls had to crack, um, scratch and claw their way back into the game and once we kind of had the the whole once we held this game, I guess you could say, once we kind of had the dominance in our hands, we didn't really let it slip away for the most important parts of the game. And as I said before earlier, it was a very balanced performance. A lot of our best performers today are the guys that didn't have contracts with the Chicago Bulls. They're guys that are looking for spots on other teams and potentially international basketball, G League, stuff like that. Those are the guys that really stepped up in my opinion. I thought every single little bit of it was absolutely necessary. When I'm talking about the attitude and the fight and the response of this team. I'm not talking about just the guys that are on this team, just the guys that are on the Bulls. I'm talking about everybody. It's a collective unit. You win as a team, you lose as a team, you fight back as a team, or you get blown out as a team. And I'm really, really happy with the response of some of these players. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about those individual performances. But yeah, it was a very, very decent performance overall. I thought it was a night and day performance. I thought it was a very much a well-balanced performance as well. And I'm hoping that we can end off the Summer League in a very similar fashion where we continue to fight. We continue to show that attitude that I really liked about this team in the first game. And we continue to win, which is obviously a really good positive sign as well. Wins and losses might not mean anything in terms of the summer league but you always want to see your team win i think that's just a guilty pleasure for everybody especially in the summer league many people might say it's just the summer league and i agree it's just a summer league and overall you're not losing sleep over wins and losses but of course you want to see your team win you want to see those young guys develop you want to see the young guys get victories and get confidence and that's exactly what i felt like we delivered today after a very disappointing new york knicks game malcolm hill was pretty decent today from my eyes 11 points three rebounds two assists and one steal Again, um, I saw a couple. I saw a bad shot where um, he committed someone to a pump fake. He took a sidestep three, and that I think airballed. I, I remember seeing that type of shot, but nonetheless, it was a decent performance from Malcolm Hill. I can't really say too much other than that. Again, very balanced performance. I don't think you're going to look at a lot of these guys and say, "Wow, they played poorly today." You're not going to say a lot. Of, you're not going to say that about many of our guys. So, yeah, a pretty interesting, pretty interesting night and a good night for Malcolm Hill, I would say as well. Jones, ladies and gentlemen, and um, this is someone that actually had a big game for us. He he had 17 points, four rebounds, five assists, and one steal, and he was dominant in the pick and roll today, ladies and gentlemen. He's had a couple of good games, and I haven't really taken too much notice of it, but today. 
today, I think he was a, a sight for sore eyes. He stood out dramatically, in my opinion. I thought he played a tremendous game, and he deserves a lot of the praise. The commentators praised him highly today. Of course, if you watched the game, you could have praised him highly today as well. He did a tremendous job in only 20 minutes of basketball. So congratulations on kind of standing out. And again... There's 29 other teams that will be watching this Summer League game. There will be teams outside of the NBA that will be watching this type of game. And if you can dominate on the pick and rolls, and you can make the right decisions almost every single time when you're in a pick and roll, then I think you're going to get noticed very, very, very quickly. So uh, congratulations to Jones on a good performance. And again... Uh, I'm looking forward to see what he could do in the last Summer League game. If he can have yet again another strong game, in my opinion, he's probably going to be one of the strongest plays we've seen out of, I guess, the Summer League. I don't think he had a terrific first game. I thought he played all right in the second game. Maybe I'm wrong, but he definitely stood out in the third game. So congratulations to him. Dale and Terry, in my opinion, even though the stats might not show it, maybe the first game might show he had the better stats. We obviously won that game as well. I actually thought Dale and Terry played better in this game. This is probably his best game in the Summer Summer League, 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. Now, correct, don't, again, don't mistake my words. He did get more turnovers than assists today, as per usual. He's done that in the last two games as well. But I saw some really good attacking play from Dale and Terry, especially on the offensive end. Some of the layups that he was making, again, the off-ball movement, even the on-ball movement when cutting to the rim, is something that I think would be very valuable to the Chicago Bulls main team. I love players that move off the ball. It's exactly what we need. And Dale and Terry seems to, it looks like he could be able to bring that to the table. Um, again, two assists compared to uh, more turnovers as well. That's obviously something he has to improve on. I don't think we should be seeing that on the main Chicago Bulls team. But again, that is a bit of a worrying sign. He is playing a lot of aggressive passes and sometimes it's just not working out for him. He did have a lot less turnovers compared to the other two games. So it's an improvement. But of course, the assist numbers were also a little bit down as well. So again, take what you will. I thought it was a very good performance from Dale and Terry and I thought it was the best we've seen out of his summer league. Justin Lewis with six points, three rebounds, and one assist with one steal as well. Got a block in there as well. Very well-rounded game. One of the things I can say about Justin Lewis compared to other guys, I think his summer league has been extremely um, consistent, uh, which is something I did not expect coming into the summer league. I actually thought he'd be relatively inconsistent, but I was proven wrong with pretty much three games in there, and he has very similar stat lines all the way through. Obviously, I think his game against the New York Knicks is probably the best version of him that we saw saw but again balanced scoring six points i think he had seven points and eight points in the other two games um rebounding has been consistent he's always there for at least a steal or a block in one of those games as well very very decent marco seven points three rebounds three assists um i'm not sure whether i should feel disappointed or somewhat neutral about marco at the moment again um I think this is an average game for Marco. Obviously, an outstanding first game, a disappointing second game, and a fairly average third game in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say too much about Marco. We'll see how he does in the fourth game. Moving on to the bench, you got guys like Ethan Thompson that dropped 10 points. You got Thornwell that dropped 9 points. You got Maker that actually had a strong game as well with 10 points and, and, and 6 rebounds and stuff like that. So yeah, again, it's, it's, it's a balanced performance. I don't think you can say anybody really stood out dramatically outside of Jones. And even Dale and Terry to an extent as well. I thought he played very, very well. Um, and he was spoken very highly about by the Bulls, um, by Taurus kind of service. But yeah, you can't say that everybody dramatically stepped out. But you also can't say um, nobody pulled their weight, in my opinion, as well. Balanced performance. Uh, and that's what a summer league team should be in my eyes. Unless you have one of the first picks in the NBA draft that is absolutely miles in it, miles clear of the majority of the talent that, that, they are, that they have on the summer league team, then I can completely understand a guy dropping 28, 27 points and winning games on his own while other guys try to pick their weight in some other areas, but the Bulls don't really have that type of player. Uh, Marco showed he can be in some spaces and against some oppositions with the Dallas Mavericks, but it looks like we're trying to find a balanced lineup, and that's exactly what we should be doing to win these games. So I'm happy with this performance. Was it the best performance? No, but it's definitely not a day performance from what we saw in the last game, and that is the most important thing. And we did have the reins in this game. We dominated this game from the second quarter onwards, and that is something to be proud of as well. The response that we wanted is the response that we got.
that's the most important thing to me as well. Knowing that we were looking for a response and the response could have very well determined for a lot of people if this was a disappointing summer league or a good summer league in many people's eyes and we ended up getting what we wanted out of that situation. So I am very happy as a Bulls fan. I hope you guys are too and we'll get ready for the last game of the summer league and hopefully we can end it off in, with a bang. I actually think we have one more game after that to be fair. I'm just not sure who we verse or when it is. So yeah. That's all I'm really going to discuss in relation to this game. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.